After spending a couple of weeks in Kazakhstan, I headed south to Uzbekistan, which is historically known as the land of traders and craftsmen. Overland travel in Central Asia has always been something I've been intrigued by, despite the fact that border crossings in this region tend to be unpredictable. Having had my first experience of a land border crossing from Azerbaijan to Georgia a few months prior, I was keen to do more. After studying the border crossing map in Central Asia, I decided to enter Uzbekistan via a popular border crossing which connects Shimken and Tashkent, the capital city of Uzbekistan. Hello, good afternoon from Shimken, a city, a city, a city rather, in the southern part of Kazakhstan. This is where people usually would go for border crossing into Uzbekistan. I don't know what it will be like. It looks like this is the most straightforward journey. However, at the same time, I am still nervous every time I do this kind of thing because we never know what's going to happen. So I've been walking for the past 30 minutes towards this bus station that I must go to. I think I have a feeling that I need to find a shared taxi to the border town. It's a taxi there. Tashkent. Tashkent? Yeah. It's a Skolko. Skolko. Thank you. 15,000 day. Thank you. 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 I think he was trying to tell me because um, he's a private taxi guy and he quoted me 15,000 or 13,000 tenge but he is basically saying that you need to look for a potentially shared taxi which then cost two to three thousand tenge and probably four hours journey that's just trying to understand what he said from the hand gesture look at this it's so good <laughs> waiting I don't know if these are taxi drivers. I'm just taking a break just because I need to compose myself. Yeah. Um, Indonesia. Ah, Indonesia. Indonesia, da da. Yeah. Go Tashkent. Um, Marshrut ka Vam. Vam Tashkent na da uye kar. Ah. Tashkent ke kumbar Tashkent ke. Yalla matamoji ma Tashkent ke orasi. Skolko. It's amazing. I just asked if I can pay 2,500 tenge per person uh, to Jive Julia. I don't know. I just say Tashkent. Tashkent, they know. So 2,500 tenge is equivalent to, I think, six dollars. I only have 2,500 tenge. I don't know how it will be. I don't know how it will be. Um, Indonesia. Indonesia, whoa! Tashkent, no, yeah, Tashkent. Tashkent. So that's the car. Super. At least the car is actually comfortable it seems i think the biggest challenge for me for this kind of travel is really putting myself out there sometimes this fear is so massive and i don't know how to break that um, usually small walk small talk <laughs> the initial fear could be broken down into small steps i've got a friend that i just met <laughs> He's from Uzbekistan. That no, Uzbekistan. Yeah. Where, where in Uzbekistan? Hmm? Where? Uh, I live in Cherchik. 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 I don't know where that is in Uzbekistan. <laughs> Oh. Uh -huh. 
My driver is vlogging. <laughs> My driver is vlogging. So cute. <laughs> My driver is stopping over and asking me to go out. I don't know what he wants to show me. Ah, what is I think she... I think that's the same that I tried in... in uh, the train. I think this is, <laughs> this is local's favorite, but it tastes a bit salty for me. just got to the border and the taxi driver will basically drive us only to this point and then I'll have to walk to the border myself to pass the... <laughs> ah! So sweet! Yes! <laughs> He's so sweet, isn't he? That was big ski school. Yeah, yeah, it's so sweet. Uh-huh. 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 She's um, explaining that. She's basically a money changer. Do свидания. <laughs> so Idos is offering his help to carry my luggage, which is so sweet. Uzbek and Kazakh cross this border every single day and they've got so many money changers. There are so many cars. So many people. Which way to go? This way? This way. Wow. Thank you so much. Where are you going? You're going. So I will cross there. Oh, you're going to Astana? Oh, you're going to Astana? Oh, I thought you're going to cross the border. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. See you. Oh, I thought he's going to cross the border, but no. I'm going alone now. Okay, so that's the border control area. Okay, it's a bit hectic. Let me take a break here. I think I'm supposed to go that way because this looks like people coming in. So yeah, I'll probably try it, try my luck. It is interesting to experience new experience all the time because obviously I don't know any of this, how it will be like. So I'm just like winging it, if that's how you say that. I have to turn off my camera now. I traveled in Al Almaty and then Kizilorda and uh, Shimken. Mush, not boyfriend, husband, I have a husband. Yeah, I travel alone, yeah. <laughs> so good. So good? Okay, what's... Is there a problem? No problem. No? Oh, no. My number. Why? I don't have telegram. No. Is this related to border custom? Why do you ask my Facebook? <laughs> Thank you. I have a husband already. Married. Married, see? Spasiva Rahmat. Rahmat, Rahmat. That was so funny. He was trying his luck. So I have made it to the Uzbekistan border and I'm currently just outside of the border. There are so many taxi driver trying to just like offer you like a shark. The Kazakh border was obviously so much more calmer and relaxed. Uh, whereas as soon as you enter the immigration of Uzbekistan, it feels a bit tense because there are so many rules saying this and saying that. The good thing about having 
uh, local SIM card that I still have from Kazakhstan is that because the location is so very near, I still can get local um, signal, which means potentially I can order an online taxi, Yandex. I don't have local currency at the moment, so that will be a bit tricky. You can basically exchange money to the unofficial money exchange. There, there will be so many people exchanging SOM, which is the Uzbekistani local currency. The constant taxi driver <laughs> hustling, just asking me if I want the taxi and I keep saying no. So I've ordered an online taxi, just waiting for him. Ah, this one. Spasiv. <laughs> Spasiv. Thanks to internet and technology, and this taxi look very upset. <laughs> taxi, an official taxi, obviously, because they can haggle, they can charge a very expensive one without you knowing how much is the local currency. Menya zavut Adriana. Adriana. Ti? Huh? Azamat. Azamat. Harash. Indonesia, Goro, Jakarta. Uh, nah. Da, 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 da. Mush, husband, yes. Da, 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 da. Abato, maling, maling. Oh, nyet, nyet, nyet. Ah, what? He was asking whether I have children. Nyet, nyet. Ti? Da. Skolko Two Ah, okay Eta Ah, Harasho Two boys The Balsho, the Maliki Da, da, da Da, your wife My mush, uh, Angle Ah, spasiba Online, online. Online? Uh, so it looks like there is some problem because perhaps Yandex Uzbekistan only accept cash? And I don't have cash at the moment. So I'm using his phone, borrowing his phone's internet because if it is in cash then we need to find an ATM. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, cash! Da, da, da. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. So, so okay, let's find ATM. Uh, okay. Bankomat, da? Let's go ATM. No, 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 no. Let's go ATM. No, no, don't say that. Jom, let's go. ATM. Bankomat. Ah, no, no, no. Baza? Bankomat! Bankomat! Yeah, first. Smart, pass smart. Okay, but Bankomat first. Ah, Bankomat, Nina. The payment! Ah, Nina. Eh, no, okay, don't do that. Bazaar, huh? Yeah, Bazaar, Nida, let's go. Okay, okay. He's so serious, he wants to. To bazaar, he said, like, ah, "No payment." I'm like, "What?" He was already so sad that I am only staying for a night here in Tashkent. I haven't got any meal, and I'm embracing myself into this unknown experience. But I trust Azama in taking me to. Uh, <laughs> And taking me to the best experience one can have. Do you know I'm so grateful about for the men who 
powerful men like Azama is the fact that he has the pure intention and I'm I feel so safe even when I'm with him and this is the first time that I've met him Wow You've got all sorts of tomatoes fresh bread Is that beetroot? Oh, what's that? <gasps> Lots of fruits. It's, I'm buzzing. Look at all of the spices. And this sauerkraut, like fermented vegetables. Live fish right here. <laughs> This reminds me of how things are in Indonesia in terms of market. It's wet market. <laughs> I think that is plof. That's basically like plof duck. Rice. Oh, you've got lots of barbecue as well. Kuch. Kuch. Eat. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you've got this like chopped meat on top of this rice. And I think that's egg and a bit of salad. He's basically asking me to eat, but he doesn't eat himself. because I can't lie that I was so starving that at a point I was depleting because the fact that the language barriers you have to be really patient and trying to understand the intention and I was noticing myself even more exhausted so the fact that I'm eating now is like the perfect time the bazaar journey continues on Whoa! Would you look at this? Wow. <laughs> I think he was asking for a photo. I think these are different sorts of spices, paprika, chili, must be corn pepper, and all sorts of stuff. I don't know what he's I don't know what he's making. Ah. <laughs> ah, so kind. I don't even know what this is. Okay. I think <laughs> I think Asamat is trying to protect me from all sorts of men. But anyway, let's get back to bazaar. Is this full of fun? Oh, look at this. <gasps> so beautiful. Look at those strawberries, all of this. Perhaps this is like strawberry section because you have all of, all of this sellers purely selling strawberries. Oh, that was really good. That strawberry. That's better than what you would get in England. Oh, so busy. <laughs> Do you know, this reminds me a bit of the bazaar I, I visited in Iran. I think Azamat is trying to figure out what do I eat? I just said banana. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. This is such a random opportunity, but at the same time, 
I'm embracing it fully thanks to him. Super. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to him because I don't think I would be able to go there by myself. It would be too intense. So many people looking at me obviously because with the camera. But also the fact that men are a bit more curious here which reminds me a bit of my time in Azerbaijan and oftentimes when you are in such situation uh, solo traveling becomes a bit daunting we are exiting ah. this way Thank you so much for watching today's episode it was such an interesting journey to have encountered as i met um, my taxi driver which then became an impromptu tour guide and i would like to actually dedicate this video to all the men <laughs> i've met throughout my journey all the bus driver all the taxi driver everyone whom i met on the road specifically men who've helped me out um what are crossing helped me out finding my way around places I've never been to before so yeah I was so very happy to have that spontaneity so let me know what you think down in the comment section below I am excited now that I am in Tashkent so the next video will be about exploring this capital city of Uzbekistan see you again next time bye